everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. You can never be too young to give God everything you have. A common phrase we like to carelessly throw around is, that's tomorrow's problem, or I'll get to that later. If we're not careful, we start to do that with our own prayer life and put God on the back burner because we're young. We have plenty of time for that. But what happens when you don't have any more time? Germanicus was one of the countless unfortunate Christians thrown into the arena to be torn apart by the lions for pure entertainment of the Romans. He had been arrested for his known faith and apprenticeship with the Bishop of Smyrna, Polycarp himself. Being a young man, he had the entire world ahead of him. He had so much to learn and was just chipping away at the tip of the iceberg. There would be no tomorrow for the young man. Germanicus would come to know martyrdom and have his life destroyed in an instant. But what he did in his final moments deemed him noble enough to be recorded in the Martyrdom of Polycarp, a famous transcript of early church martyrs. The Roman proconsul looked upon the boy in pity. They saw only a man throwing away the opportunity to come out of the arena unscathed. All he had to do was renounce the faith he claimed and it would be all over. He could be promised a tomorrow, but not with Christianity holding him back. In the face of what seemed like total defeat, Germanicus refused to give in. He embraced his Christian faith all the more and faced the lion and wild beast before him. He had accepted his death so deeply that when the lion immediately showed little to no interest in him, he encouraged the beast to charge so that he wouldn't have to remain in the presence of such evil. Germanicus was martyred in the year 156, but his death did not discourage others from the faith. In fact, it did quite the opposite. Many were amazed by the young man's bravery despite his age. He stood against the jaws of the lion and made it known that death no longer has its sting. It's important for us to make the most of each moment we have and to not be tempted by the thoughts of what tomorrow could potentially bring. Who knows, there might come a day when we approach the bridegroom's gate and our oil lamps are empty. God calls each of us into a journey of faith with him, but he never gives us an expiration date. Our youth can be just as uplifting as our aged wisdom, but it should never be taken for granted. When we somewhat jokingly promise to start praying more regularly tomorrow or choosing to wait for the next pilgrimage trip to experience the living Christ, it's in these moments that we are called to remember that there might not be a tomorrow. Let us take the edifying moments of Germanicus' brief life as an example of how our faith should stir us to be sanctified and fearless in the spirit. Let us not wait for the unpromised tomorrow, but run to God on fire with his love today. There will come a day when tomorrow is no longer an option. Grow in faith today in those big moments or small ways now. St. Germanicus of Smyrna, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.